The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 82, NASDAQ up 31, S&Ps are up 11. We have the gold contract trading up 12 bucks at 13.30. Silver's up 44 cents, $19.72. You got platinum up 21 bucks, 1,051. Light sweet crude's up 78, 44.83. 10-year bond down, 10 -year note rather, down six ticks. The bond is off, 30-year uh, bonds down 14. Good old King Dollar. King Dollar right now is on the move once again. It's down 76 ticks, 95.90. The euro is at $1.11, and the yen is trading at 100.79. Um, starting at midnight last night, action between the yen and the dollar and the metals market has been really wild no that doubt was bank about of japan and we got that, our bank at two o'clock today two right? o'clock today we got action we got um, we got oil we, we got oil everything, numbers man. at we uh, see some volatility at 10 30. and you got the dow almost up triple digits already. right so, and yeah. um each and last two days uh, we sold off bottom line nice market to trade um and just need the fast fingers yeah definitely. Uh, oh, you, you, and keep them keep them fast today keep, for the rest of the keep week keep probably. fast today and the rest of the week let's go over to our man mr kevin hinks from td ameritrade think or swim and every trading day here right here at tfnn folks 12 to 1 eastern standard time kevin and scott got a great program swim lessons now if you haven't test drove the think or swim platform come over to our website at tfnn you'll see the banner on the right hand side or at the top hit the banner you can bring up the platform it's an outstanding platform i've been using it for over a decade <laughs> um and bottom line Listen at 12 o'clock. If you want to understand options upside down and understand them in the context that you don't have to read a book and throw it against the wall. About Especially on a day like today, right? To Man. Totally. Go ahead. Yeah. Totally. And, <laughs> you know, I remember when I first was getting my head into options, you know, Larry McMillan really has the Bible. And I threw that book against the wall so many times. Um, you know, and it's a great book. He's a great writer. But guess what? When you're reading it, it's a lot different. It's a lot harder to understand than when Kevin and Scott go through it with their hockey sticks and visually. There's no it. two ways about it. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, guys. Hey. Not exactly the quiet before the storm, is it? It's kind of the storm before the storm. Yeah. A lot, a lot of stuff going on here. There but, is, man. Um, that, you know, you get buybacks happening out here. Yeah, it, earnings, it, right, it, everything. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, the, we, get, we get action, man. You know, this is going right. this, this yeah. to be quite a day. Plenty to talk about, plenty to trade about, right? I mean, yeah. and then we got one o'clock will be, it'll be interesting. It'll it'll move the market. Now, I don't think anything is really going to happen, but she's got a press conference coming up right after, you know, yes. about 2.30 Eastern time, and, and that'll move the market. One way or another, I'm not sure, but that'll move the market. No, no doubt. Hey, you know what was interesting? I'm going to swap gears with you just for a second, because I know you love trading those grains. It was interesting yesterday that, you know, the dollar really wasn't moving around too much, and those grains got a couple bids underneath them, man. Yeah, yeah, it was an interesting day in the grains. You're exactly right. And last week we had a day where the grains went dollar up big, grains up big. So, you know, but here's the thing, Tom. We're getting into this time of the year now. We're getting into harvest in the grain. Okay. So it always gets, you know, you're starting to come now where the rubber hits the road here in the grains where I you're see. starting to get a bunch of product coming in. Okay. Right? Yeah. And in terms of the grains, we, they went into deliveries late, and all of a sudden a bunch of grains got delivered oh. right at the end of the contract. So that kind of threw the rest into a tizzy. But directionally, yeah, we're getting into harvest. I so see. We're, you know, it, there, there, there's a lot to deal with at this time of year. Late September, early October is when, you know, you got a whole new crop coming coming out of the ground. That's pretty cool, man. You know, it's always intriguing that they, you know, when we trade equities, it's really cool. But when I look at the grains and the commodities in general, it's like we really use them every day. Sure. So it's like really right. getting to understand how that works is, yeah. is, is a whole different dynamic. Definitely. Do you know what I mean? You look on the ingredients package of just about anything you eat. Yeah. And there's some grain in there at some point. No, no doubt. So yeah. what, what are we talking about today? We're talking about 
we're going to do a lot more work on option probabilities and how skew comes into it. Okay. I, I touched a little bit last week on skew yes. and how there, you know, the, the, the skew was starting to hit some options. So we're going to do a lot more work on skew and option probability today. Right. And is that where the skew, is that where the market's kind of pricing one way versus the other, Kevin? What well, is, where, here's what it is. Tommy. Yeah, perfect. I In remember general, I've seen you talk about that at least once or, or twice or something, but it's interesting because the market's basically saying that this is priced in, as in, you know, we're giving better risk reward one side versus the other. Is that right? Yeah, because think about it. Stocks go down faster than they go up. Yes. So what the skew does in options, it shows you where the implied risk is okay. in the direction of the market. So, when, you know, you guys know that the VIX goes up on the downside and it goes down on the upside. Yes. Right? But the skew will tell you where the inherent risk is in the market. It, I like that. That's I, I like the last, cool. the last time I heard about it, I liked it. It makes a lot of right. sense, too, no, because, you know, the market's just going to price in what is expected, basically. Right. That makes sense. Like, it right. does. That's, yeah. Right. Well, you know what? You know, it's really cool. In, in, one, in our trading room, Kevin, there's, there's a couple guys that really understand these options really well, and they'll be trading something else, but they're looking at that option market to see where they think the implied risk is even when they're trading it, which I was watching that one day. I says, well, this is pretty cool, you know, that sure. they're, they're using that market to even trade. It, it's, it's, it's going to be a variable of that market. But it's such a big market. It's, it's a such a big factor. market. No Total. doubt. Yeah, there's boatloads of information to be derived from skew. Right here, folks, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time, right in your cell phone, tfnn.com, hit Tiger TV. Kevin, have a great day, safe day. Look forward to the show at noon. Have a great day, guys. Thanks, you man. too. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. The Dow's up uh, 77. Nasdaq's up 29. S&P's up 11 and a half. Pizzavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under trading newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, is up 81. We get the NASDAQ up 29. S&Ps are up 11. We have gold trading up by $12.50. Silver's up um, 49 cents. Light, sweet, crude numbers are going to be coming out 1030. You got crude up almost a dollar. Yeah. Um, and uh, good old King Dollar. This is going to be interesting because last night, folks, um, so if you take a look at the uh, good old King Dollar, you talk about a, a ride here. This has been quite a ride. Um, it, it, King Dollar got up to, uh, let's see, 96.30 last night, then gave it up. Uh, the yen, and this is where... And that's right at midnight when the Bank right. of Japan yes. came out. Yeah. And, and the yen, uh, you talk about... It, 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 the correlations are pretty cool if you're in the metals market. So why should I just show you that the yen got up to a price point of 102.79. That's, you know, $102 to one yen... 102 yen to one U.S. dollar. Um, comes crashing down to 100.58, or at 100. Point Eight six, and yeah. if we go over to gold, and you take a look at, and you want to see, there's just the direct correlation. I don't know why the direct it is such a direct correlation, but it's it's pretty wild. Um, gold spiked down to thirteen ten, <laughs> you know. Sure. And uh, you know when the yen turns around, got stronger. Guess what? Gold got stronger. And you know right now, um, right now it's a heads up, meaning it, well, it, you know, heads or tails, because the dollar has made it uh, almost back to flat again. Um, and it looks like it's setting up for now what the Fed's going to say. Yeah, you know? yeah. And I expect it will, even though we're, we have some action, that it'll calm down ahead of that. Yeah. You know, oh, whether yeah. Whether it's two hours ahead, three hours ahead, whether it's right now, or right. it just kind of waits till 2 o'clock at least. No, I, I, there's, there's no doubt. And because there's two hours of market action after that. And she's going to be talking. That's a lot of time yeah. to do whatever you need to do. And the, the talking... Once you know the information without it, leaving that to It you. is. And I suspect... The the news conference is always a big deal. Definitely. Um, you know, it's going to be the tone of her voice. It's going to be, you know. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be the tone of her voice. Well, what is it going to be then? The words out of her mouth. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It, yeah. You know, it's, it's going to be what she says, realistically. W I R P. Not the tone of this, but. So, right now, the. Uh, they're a little bit higher than they were yesterday. Yeah. I think it was 22, 26 point something yes. for November. So we're looking it was at... It still 22 for September, but it was 22 point maybe something. And I think November was 26 point something. And right now, November's 28. Yeah. December's 59. And I think that was 58. Yes, it was. I know. Yeah. And what we're talking about, folks, is that that's the Fed Fund Futures rate. Um, so let's go... And folks, if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, great time to do it. We'll go over to the... Uh, why don't we go over to... Where is it? Let's want to bring up that oil. Wanna, sure. Um, so uh, ten thirty, uh, we get oil coming out here, and um, last night the uh, the API numbers. I know when uh, Andy was on with me, okay. and then um, there was supposed to be a a build, and it was a draw, like it was dramatic too. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll pull that up so we get you the right numbers, but. Uh, the diff diff the differential was huge, man. You know, um, the drawdown versus the yeah. There's the spike right 430 there. Four thirty yesterday. Right, yeah. right. So it went from was this a five minute bar? Yeah. So that's from forty. Where are we looking? Forty three eighty six. Yeah, it opened at forty four and made it you know forty four fifty eight. So you're talking about yeah fifty cent movement in five. Five yeah, minutes. Right. With continued movement even after right. the fact. Right. Okay. Um, so we're at almost 45, 44 and 99, literally. So 45, yep. call it. Um, and let's we'll, see we'll be we looking at the 11 o'clock yeah. contracts. In which way, what, what, what were you thinking? I don't want to take a look. I'd have to look. Let me see. Go ahead, you're there. Uh, US, oh, let me pull it this way. Let's see. Look at that. That's uh, spiked higher. 
Not much juice. Interesting. CLX6. So directionally, yeah, directionally it's yeah, directionally it's saying 44.59. So directionally, yeah, directionally it would still stay lower. Now that's going to be interesting because well, let me see if we can see what that the actually API was. CLX6. Well, well, yeah, we can find yeah, time to break exactly. now. But directionally, there's a lot of news about it. There, there is. Yeah. Directionally, uh, we, I would say that uh, oil wants to go lower, you know. So, if we bring that up, where where is? Let's see. Let me go. Yeah, thank you. So I'm sorry. What did you say? Directionally, I would go low if I was going to do it. I'm not going to do it, yeah. but directionally, that's where I would do. So I mean, there's a lot of spreads you can choose from. There's none with the ceiling where it's right at 45. There's one at 45, okay. you know, 50, where you're yeah. going to be risking, you know, if you're selling it, about 60 dollars, right? Yeah, 61. So you're, you're risking one to make 1.5. Okay. Um, now. If you want to go a little bit lower, where you're going all the way, where the ceiling's 44.75, that's where you're paying all premium, right? You don't have any value until it goes yeah. about 25, so you'd be paying 17. And that's right. a decent trade if you expect a big move, right? For sure, right? But what happens is your break even is where you're getting into it, obviously, which is at 44.59, which is 40 cents below the current market. Yeah. So you know, oil goes down 38 cents, you lose money on this trade. Right. Just to put, you know, right. that's where. Right. So what you want to wrap your head around it, 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 it is certain days, that depending whether you're bullish or bearish, the boxes do line up better. Well, they when do, I say I mean, better, that's not, just, yeah, no, I, that, that's right. That might be perfect for somebody. Yeah. I'm just, yeah. yeah. That's right. No, I'm with you. Yeah. That's what makes a market, right? Right. Yeah, right. Because, you know, in that trade that um, the 44.75, your max profit's at 43.25, which is, Almost as we've talked about, a dollar seventy-five from where it's at right now, and which we got you know, that move two weeks that's ago. A, that's a good ex expectation coming off news. Right. Um, right. So. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. What time is it right now? Uh, Twenty-six past. Perfect. We go to break in one minute. We're back at exactly ten thirty, and the news will come out. We'll see what happens. I like it. Yeah. The, um, you know, if we go over to these bonds, the the bonds. Uh, are still bottom line saying that this market uh, wants lower price, higher yield. Now, why do you say that? Because the the correlation, let me pull this up. So if we take a look at how we've traded here. You know, when we broke downtown on the 13th, 346,000 contracts. Broke down again. 15, 312,000 contracts. And right now, today, that's a lot of contracts for 10 o'clock in the sure. morning, yes. you know? You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We're going to have some uh, oil numbers for you. Uh, Dow Industrials right now are uh, up 80. Nasdaq up 20. If you're looking 20... to discover a new financial resource and diversify your financial portfolio, consider the new Market Safe Focus Commodity CD from Everbank. This five year US dollar denominated CD gives you exposure to six equally weighted commodities, including gold, silver, copper, nickel, soybeans, and sugar, and one powerful CD. With annual pricing caps of 50% per component, you could earn up to a 50 percent upside payment at maturity if the commodities increase in value across annual pricing dates. And should the opposite occur, your principal is 100 percent protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There is no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. Don't miss out. Take advantage of this financial resource designed to grow with the times. The October 13th funding deadline will be here before you know it. So hurry over to everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. Once again, that's everbank.com slash tfnn this advertisement is sponsored content everbank is a member fdic
If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, oil uh, got a good spike. We'll find out what the numbers are. We just went from 44.90 to 45.42. Um... Do you want uh, to pull up uh, the sure. oil news there as we... CLX6. Okay, yeah. Oof, wow. Um, so crude minus 6.2 billion barrels. Yeah. The median estimate was, was plus. a rise of 3.2. Right. That's, you're talking about a, a 9.5 million barrel swing. Right, billion barrel. and that's and billion, the, not the, million. the and the API had a big number last night yeah, too. Yeah, and I just pulled up uh, that. So gasoline supplies declined 2.5 million barrels, surpassing the forecast of 1.4 million barrels. So right. there was a decline there as well. So gas prices are going up, right? <laughs> yeah, and uh, well, you're not scared. You didn't put on that trade. And that's for sure. There you man. go. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it, 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 this is where this is going to, you know, get deviant too. So let, let's me pull this sure, up. Forty-five thirty. Because here, I think just minimize that. Go ahead. Yeah, I think oil needs more than that in order to get to higher price here. One second. Um, see, it, you know, it's interesting here is it's not doing anything to the Dow, which it should do something to the Dow if it's going to stick. Forty-five thirty. So your swing point is 45.87. Not the swing point, but the, the first place where we had that downdraft a couple of days ago. Just what day was that? It wasn't a couple that of days ago. That was on uh, the, four, the 24th. Yeah, a week ago. On the 14th, yeah. A week ago. Okay. You know? So yeah. we'll see where that shakes out. Uh, if we go over to the XLE, let's take a look at the XLE. Still hasn't done anything to the XLE. XLE is up 81 cents right now. And... Uh, Oh, man, this is going to be a volatile day, folks, because the XLD did spike to 68 and then says, guess what? I got a seller up there. It's pretty amazing. The, the markets are just amazing that, you know, you can get news that looks great and then all of a sudden the market yeah, hey, just the market takes is, it an opposite is, you way. Know, oh, and look at that. There's, there's the movie you're talking about just in the price of oil. Right. Maybe you should have went short. No. <laughs> that was well, quick, wasn't that, it? No, that, I know. That was This quick. is what's so cool about the Nadex product, folks. Okay? And this is where, yeah, we talked about, you know, if you were trading both sides, right? You right. You order in, same right. thing. Um, you know, you'll have to look at your S&P binaries that you have today. Right. Because you can make that decision before 2 o'clock if you want to. Oh, yeah. 
Um, yeah. Because there could be a big spike and a pullback for sure. Well, we can see that in this five minute bar, we've gone from approximately 44.82 to 45. I don't know, yeah. 48? 50, right? 50, uh, well, okay, actually, cool. Yeah, yeah. Where, this right. Is 50. It's a, it's a good number. It is. You know? 40, 45, 47. And, that's, and what's, what's even more amusing is that it might close right exactly where it opened at. Yeah. You know. Right, right. Uh, Market-wise out here, and I, it, what you want to do is, you know, the last three days, folks, this market hasn't been able to hold. And ESZ, this is a, yesterday it couldn't hit the highs of the prior day. And thus far today, we haven't hit the highs of Monday also. Um, so this is a dangerous market right now coming into that because that's, that's, you know, that's not you or I up there selling it. You can't move a market like that unless there's a lot of very large folks, uh, funds selling into that market up at that, up at that price point. Uh, the NQs, let's go take a look at the NQs. NQs, same deal, you know, and, and inside the NQs, so check this out, Tom, this is a trip. So... Microsoft last night, right, come out. They've already been buying back $40 billion in stock. They're yeah. going to buy back another $40 billion. I saw. And then they raised their dividend to $0.39, cents, but you got to see this. Look at this. You know, it's, $0.39 cents doesn't sound like a lot of money until you look at, like, what Bill Gates still owns. It's just crazy, man. He's been selling stock for, like, 20 years now. Yeah. Um, and, you know... He owns so much of the company that it's it's always it's been filed that he sells so much sure. stock. Period. Right, right, okay, right. I'm sure they have it like mapped out. Yeah, right? yeah, and and it's filed with the SEC. You're right, but he still has 190 million shares. Sure, at 39 cents. Yeah, that's the dividend. How sure. cool is that? Right, that's sick. Yeah, that really is sick. That is. That's, oh my God, that's that's pretty intense money, on a continual basis, and that's that folks is without the um, equity going higher and Microsoft right. has gone higher Microsoft is really oh they're know, doing really some well juice right underneath it. Yeah, yeah it really does that new CEO is doing good yeah. things for them for sure yeah there's no doubt about that yeah our phone number is 877-927-6648 uh, you see FedEx came out with really good numbers we too. did yeah we did uh, no I did yeah oh, okay. um, FDX so if we pull up uh, FedEx why is it? GDX. GDX. You can't help but get out of those golds, can you? I can't. I know. Exactly. Um, look at that. Yeah. Now, it's intriguing here. Look at that, man. That's huge. Uh, it was a big move. And there were there people, um, you know, talking it up on CNBC this morning okay. and just talking about it. Um, that is one monster move. And I guess, you know, it's double-edged in terms of, like, of course they should be doing well and that Retail is growing, especially in the yeah. shipping department, right? I mean, right. you talk about whether it's Walmart.com, um, Amazon, all these orders that have to be shipped as opposed yes. to people showing up in the stores. But then the other side, it's kind of worse than what if Amazon starts cutting which, the shippers out. Which they are. Well, yeah, but yeah right. well, the thing I would agree. The I mean, thing that's it's amazing you know, here, if you go over to UPS, now, we happen to be shot UPS, but it blows my mind that I was waiting for UPS to really get to 110 this morning. I couldn't do it. And that, that's... I gotta look inside FedEx. Why that's yeah. the case? Some I mean, of the growth I think in FedEx was um, growth that was above UPS. Yeah, evidently. You no, know, it was. You know, they were wow. touting a couple of things, but I mean, that's, you got to take when those people are on CNBC. I think especially talking about it that you know you're getting a presentation in one way or the other. You know, in terms of like a, a bullish presentation or a bearish presentation. So they were talking about some ratios where FedEx had increased. 10% here versus UPS only increasing 2% okay. year on year and stuff like that. You know, so I just compared though, this is where it gets, this is going to be, if this is a separation, uh, what you're looking at here is that the green line is FedEx, the white yes. line is UPS. I That's mean, they, cool. nice. they normally move pretty much together. So I got to watch my butt here. <laughs> That, yes, that, they this do. Is, no, this, for sure. This is something that's different out here today, for sure. Although, to put it in perspective, you know, just to, I mean, they, they do, but that was quite a, a difference in terms of just recently. Um, yeah. As in, yeah. you know, no, no, there's no doubt. FedEx definitely looks yeah, better. Yeah, th and there's no doubt. And yeah. Even in the context of, uh, what's that, last April. April, they were much, much higher. Right. Um, it's pretty wild, though, man. Yes. It's unusual that 
FedEx can be up 10 bucks and UPS can't hold price. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, you know, the only day that probably can't happen is the day after they announce earnings, right? Because that's where the separation actually Evid takes place. E evidently. Yeah. Evidently. That's, that's pretty intense. Um, Let's check back and see how it was doing. Yeah. Look at it. It's not going to hold. No. And that's only up about eight pennies from where we were and, and prior so to the news. What happens, folks, in something like that? When that you, was a huge miss. Yeah. When, for and, the market and, to basically be like, ah, we're, we're good where we're at. Right. right? Yeah. And particularly because the fundamentals are that we're using more oil and the drawdown is heavier and the market's still not moving. So the sure. market is saying, guess what? We have more oil, which is just amazing, actually. Sure. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are going to be coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Going to be right back, folks. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow right now is up 79, NASDAQ's up 30, S&Ps are up 12. And if we go over and we take a look at um, the binaries that I put on on Monday. Yeah. So you'd put them on at 21.14.50, right? And interestingly enough, the market's basically right where it was when you put them on, like 21.43, okay. which makes things so easy and to I compare. And I sold them. You sold them. So you sold them at 78, which is exactly where basically the bid is right now. Right. So this bid offer is exactly where it was on Monday. The market has moved maybe less than a point. I think it was right at 21.43.50. Right. 
But what we were talking about during the break that's so cool is that you're paying for five days, right? I mean, yes. you are because you're getting the risking 22 to make 78. You're right. getting the one to four. Yes. Um, you're getting where you're selling it 30 points below the current market. Um, and even to bring it up, I think there it'll show up on the chart. Right. Um, but what's so cool is that two days have disappeared and there's still just as much premium priced into that. Right. Where like all of that premium, it seems, not all of it, but a lot of it was priced in for today at for 2 today. o'clock, it looks like. And so that's saying tomorrow at this same time, if the market's at 21.43, this binary's definitely going to be something like, you know, and I'm just guessing, but this is where you want to pull it up and watch it because yes. you have a better idea. Which we will. 85 by 90 or something, right. you know. So if you want to get out, you're, you you got to buy it back. So right now... If you want to get out, you'd have to pay the spread. Right. But that's where you can see it's going to it's going to be because there'll be a higher probability of that expiring in the money because guess what? They're going to price in the fact that volatility has decreased. Yes. So, yes. That and premium the thing is, is not worth pricing into it anymore. Right. And this is something to remember folks for the next even Fed meeting yeah. because the reality is is that I can you can make the case that I almost got 2 days for free. Right. That's yeah. what I was saying. Right. You know, you really right. got because you're still risking basically 20 for 80, right. you're risking one to four, and you had two days where if this makes a substantial move in your direction, you have four times the profit, if, you know, if it makes well, a big move ahead of that news. And as I, as I said, last night, I could have bought it back at 67. So, yeah, because you know, it did get because, some action. Right? You know, today we're up 11 bucks, okay, you know, inside the S&Ps. Right, I mean, that's, you know, you, right. it, it had made it, it, it made pretty good run to the yeah. downside, right? right, for right, sure. Right, Yeah. right. So, uh, but that's I, awesome because I went to pull it up and I was thinking that market's right where it was. So if the market stays where it is, right, this is this is on its way up to a hundred. If the market stays where it is, yes, just you know. Right. So two out of five days have passed. You'd expect this to go up. But oh, guess I, what? I was expecting to lose premium. Right. No, I know you today. were too. Right. I was yeah, definitely I was, expecting just, to lose you know, premium. You know, that's the easy way to think right. about it. Where it's like you know, this. If it stays at 21.43, this is just a slow trickle up to 100 because yes. that's the probability of expiring on sure. the money. Right. And so it's amazing. It just stayed right there, right. which is nice when basically you have that position. So you still have, you know, whether it's you're talking about the offer, you can get out $17 per contract. Right. Or if you want to get in the trade, it's still the same exact trade if you made right now with the market basically a point away from where it was, which is cool. No, there's, there's, it's big. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you got to love it, man. Yeah. Seriously, I'm sure we'll be watching closely at two o'clock. We'll yeah, see. it's hey, it's gonna be it's it's and what I expect you're gonna see, folks. There's gonna be spikes everywhere because you know this is, um, yeah, you, you're gonna have first you're gonna have this statement and then you're gonna have the news conference. Yes, you know, definitely. so that's in both cases. Uh, you know, we'll we'll find out what she has to say and uh, what is the time frame uh, that they're actually looking at. And so just pushing it the other way, if you said to yourself, you know what, maybe I... I oh, which I can do yeah, before the it's thing. it's the same exact oh. price, you know, and as it should be, as in the premium still priced into all these, so at every strike price, there's going to be the similar type of premium. And so, so if, yeah. You know, you can ahead. choose a strike price. You're already in for 22, essentially. Right. If you want to push it up to 21.74, you're a 17. If you want to push it to 21.62, that would cut 22 points to the upside. Um, you're getting in at 28, which is still only for risking 60. Uh, no, sorry, 50. And what we're saying here, folks, what we're saying here yeah. is that, that that I'm going, I'm not going directionally, I'm going with volatility so that I put on a, a bullish trade and I'm looking for a spike. Exactly. Now, looking at it, so you're short at under 21.14. Right. And then you'd be long above a certain level. Exactly. So your profit would be either below this level or yeah. above whatever level you choose to get in. And yeah. you got in 22 here. So, again, if you got in at like 28, Basically, you have a one to one. You're risking 50 to make 50. Right. And what do we talk about, right? There's actually, that's just if you hold them until expiration, risking yes. 50, make 50. If you get a spike, you sell the one that's profitable, you sell the one that has some value, and then you let the others roll, looking for a pullback, maybe. And what happens in Fed meetings, folks, okay? The bottom line is that many times, whatever happens today, the opposite can happen tomorrow. Right. You know, for sure. When, when, let alone when the market digests it. I mean, look at, you don't you need know, a better example than oil. That would have been a great trade that you could have Look done. at that. You know, if, so, you, if you, so here's 1030 bar, yeah. 1025 bar. Okay. There's the, the big 1030 bar. Right. So, you know, it's about 4520 beforehand. And if you had been quick enough, there's just, you know, you really it'd be nice for a bigger move, but you could see how maybe you got a quick spike up, maybe you have binaries, maybe you get out right here yep. um, or a spread. You could do a similar deal. And then, you know, you hold the ones maybe that are to the downside and try and exit those for more value. 
Defined risk, folks. Right. Get over, take a look at the Nadex platform. They'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account. Um, and this is a great day to do it, by the way. For okay? sure. Okay? Uh, you'll, you'll learn how these contracts move, um, and the volatility is going to be out there. And what's great about volatility, by the way, is that you learn so much more about the marketplace. Definitely. You, know, you get to see everything in action you, moving you and do. adjusting to, to underlying indices and, and so forth. Pretty amazing. And what has just happened is that when that I oil, know, right? well, when that oil just moved down, that just moved the Dow down uh, 30 points. Definitely. Uh, so uh, there's, uh, and, and what's also going on is that, um, you know, King Dollar is making its way back uh, higher. We were down 215 ticks. Right now, you're down 86 ticks. Uh, yen still hasn't moved much. Uh, the yen still is at trading at 100.76. Uh, so, um, if we go over and we take a look at this uh, S&P right now, so ESZ6. Yeah, you get now. Now, all of a sudden, we get a seller again. It's amazing, man. Um, that, that one bar there, and it has, uh, let's see, well, it has another minute left, but we just went from, uh, well, four S&P points. That's yeah, not no. a lot, but it's a, quick it's, move. A, it's a lot in the context of where we've been. Yeah. And in the context that uh, the market thus far hasn't been able to get up and over those highs. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. You got uh, gold's up 12 bucks. Silver, silver's caught the bid. So it's going to be interesting when this comes out, because silver does catch, it's not only just caught a bid, um, the way that it's actually trading, it looks like it wants to go to a swing high, where gold doesn't. So silver's up 2.6%, uh, gold is up uh, 9 tenths of 1%, yeah. you know? And silver is, uh, there's no doubt, the, the volatility in silver um, is much higher than gold. Yeah, for some no, it reason. seems like it is. Yeah, no, it, it, none of that seems, seems recently let, that there's always bigger moves percentage it's crazy, wise. Yeah, you know, um, I, I don't, I don't. Uh, the silver stocks I, I trade, but I don't trade the silver future because it's like just too bizarre. I'm surprised you know? we haven't got Tom from Plymouth calling in with some of those um, uh, direction triple double silver um, ETFs. Yeah, right? well, actually, you know, we'll, we'll talk about. Uh, I just was looking. Uh, direction actually just come out with a uh, new. Um, Triple silver. Okay. Yeah. There we go. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get all over that uh, maybe tomorrow. Add volatility to volatility. Add volatility to volatility, there baby. There we go. You stay right there. And, of course, uh, don't forget, uh, coming up next, we got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Swim Lesson, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. We'll be back. Uh, Tommy and I are going to be coming right back. Dow right now is up 65. The Nasdaq is up 25. S&Ps are up 10. We're going to be right back, folks. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com.
It's 2016 and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. The Dow right now is up 68, NASDAQ's up 28, S&Ps are up 10, and uh, oil's been all over the place. Definitely. Uh, now, this is before 2 o'clock, so yeah. it's, it's almost like when I, when I look at the back, I say, oh, man, this, is this setting up? This is, this is like a, a practice run for volatility. Right? It could be. <laughs> it could be. Yeah. I, you know, uh, it, it's going to get intriguing. It here. might be saying, you know, we're not going anywhere until 2 o'clock either. Yes. Oil, well, know? and you know what would be really bizarre is that imagine the market spikes up, the market spikes down, and at the end of the day, we're at the exact same space. Sure. That would be a mind blow. That would. Because then everyone's going to be scratching their heads like, okay, so what's going to happen now in the next few weeks? Yeah. yeah right. Next few days. Few next weeks. few days. Next few weeks. All of the above. Um, you got to love the markets, man. Though. It's, it's, <laughs> a, it's like... This is like a sporting game out here today, man. It's not like this every Lots day. Of news, for but sure. today it is, man. For There's sure. no doubt. Um, dollar is 0.71. So it's, it's crawling. The, the, dollar, the dollar is just crawling back into the positive, which is going to be really wild if that's the case. Um, some of the higher volume stocks out here, uh, not that we have, uh, you got uh, Bank of America up six cents, Wells Fargo is down 90. Um, you get Apple off 30, Marriott's down 21. No big move is out here. Inside the Dow Industrials, let's see what we got. Boeing, but Boeing's been lower. Uh, Boeing's up a buck 20. Uh, inside the, let's go to the bonds one more time before we bring our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, out. So, you know, bonds are basically flat. You're down six ticks, but you were, were as low as 164.13. So that's a spike down with volume. That's a spike up. Oh, man, this is going to be a tough one to call. But the, the spike lower last, was that last night? Yeah, that was last night, too. So... Last night, you do have a higher volume spike intraday. And so your probability gets a little bit higher that it's going to go at least test out, you know. And um, as we're coming up to the 2 o'clock area, it's going to be pretty amazing if this market sells, sells right down, right it into would. it. It right? would, yeah. yeah. Anything can happen today. Oh, boy. For sure. I'll even ahead of it. Even ahead of it. You know, it'll yeah. probably calm down, but... There can be some action ahead of it, for sure. And the 10-year right now, folks, is running at 1.7. So 2 o'clock is the number. 2 o'clock is going to uh, throw the bonds around, throw the dollar around, throw the metals around, um, all, of the, all of the above. Uh, no two ways about that. Yeah. You get the, let's go inside the NDX, because you know what I just saw is that Netflix, NFLX, Netflix was the leader on the way down out here today. Yeah, so uh, Netflix is down four bucks, ninety-four dollars, and um, Netflix lowers investors' eye churn rates and content cost. All right, let's go take a look at Amazon. Since Amazon is eating everyone's, look at Amazon just won't. Seven hundred eighty-two dollars. I know. 
you know? And that might be a bargain. We'll see in a few years. I know? know. Yeah. I know. I mean, the amazing... Start talking about, you know, driverless, pilotless drones right. dropping off packages right. and, you know, the you know, potential for, you know, talking about self-driving cars in, like, five years, like, everything could be self-driving cars, I let know. alone the Uber stuff where they already have them right now on the road in cities where they're, like, you know, they're testing them with passenger. So that's mind-blowing when you um, think about it. Imagine how smart Bezos is, though, to, to run something like that big. It must be so hard, right? Yeah. Don't yeah. you think? I mean, yeah. it's just, like, amazing. You surround yourself with good people, right? Oof. But, yeah. yeah, totally. Totally. Uh, you stay right there, folks. I'm Mr. Basil Chapman's coming up next. Thanks so much for a growl and a prowl. Thanks, Thanks pal. Thanks, man. Wow! Go get him, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.